Hello my friends. Okay, we are back and it's not Thursday. It's Monday. We're doing a bonus episode Okay, so today we're gonna be talking about how to get the perfect spray tan and some of my favorite products stay tuned Okay guys, you might be wondering why am I doing a bonus video on Monday? It's because it's a very special week. So I talk about all the time how I work for Suntan City and Suntan City is doing their free spray week this week. So yay, come on down to Suntan City, get a free spray tan. But I'm gonna tell you how to get the perfect one, okay? If you're watching this video and it's not, not March 2nd through March 8th of 2020, I apologize, it is not free spray week anymore. But if you're watching it this week, then it is, and go to your local Suntan City. Okay, I'm done plugging, not really. Okay, so how to get your perfect spray tan. So it starts before you even get to the store. So you always need to shower, shave, and exfoliate before you go in. So a lot of times people just use random exfoliators that they get at like Walmart, Target, Bath and Body Works, whatever. The thing you have to be careful of is a lot of um, a lot of exfoliants actually have oil in them, so you're rubbing that all over your body, and so you're not making a clean slate for your spray tan. So make sure whatever you're using doesn't have any oil or anything like that. I use Revive. So Revive is made by what's called Sunless Ink. And Sunless Ink only makes spray products. So this is specifically meant to prep your skin for a spray tan. And it's a really hydrating exfoliant as well. So my skin doesn't feel super dry or itchy or anything like that. So I exfoliate everywhere and then I shave in the shower and then I come out all good to go. And then you don't want to put any lotion on or anything like that. You want your skin to be as clean as possible. Okay. So then you've showered, shaved, and exfoliated, and you drove to Suntan City to get your perfect spray tan. You might be like, okay, what comes next? Okay, so there's a couple things. You always need a primer. Primer, primer, primer. I have two that I'm gonna talk about. Um, the first is the DS primer. So when you open it up, I don't know if you guys can see it on camera. But when you open it up, it's pink. So it's gonna color correct and make sure you don't overdevelop or underdevelop your color. Um, also, it has coffee and caffeine to tone and tighten your skin. Since you just got that beautiful spray tan, you want your skin to look good. Um, it's also gonna balance your pH. Any good primer is gonna balance your pH. And you might be like, okay, what does that mean? So whatever your skin's pH is, is gonna impact what your color looks like. So let's say you ate no, let's say you drink orange juice all day. Your skin's gonna be super aesthetic, so it's gonna change the color. So you want your skin to have a like normal pH so you can get the perfect color and it'll look better and last longer. So, you need a primer. Then there's different options for a spray tan. Um, it depends where you go. So I'm just gonna tell you like what my stores have. Um, for color, you can do light, medium, dark, or double dark. So I have on right now a medium. I think it looks good. So I have a medium clear, which means that it was gonna develop slowly over time. The other options tint where you get all the color at once. Um, you can also add in hydration, which is like a putting a top coat on your nails. It locks in the color. Your spray tan won't stick to dry skin. So it makes sure that your skin is hydrated to take on that spray tan. Also, there's an option for a double leg pass, which is really good if you're gonna be shaving, showing your legs, or anything like that. So, those are all the options. And like I said, light, medium, dark, double dark for color, hydration, double leg pass, and then on top of that, you can have it show up immediately with the tint or in four to six hours with the clear. Okay, so, you went to the spray, you got your perfect spray tan, and now you're like, okay, I'm gonna go home. Now, 
at home care, after care, whatever you want to call it, is very important for maintaining your spray tan. <coughs> so, you don't want to shower or get like your spray tan wet for about, I would say, four to six hours after you spray tan. Um, you could also do this thing, which is called like an hourly check. Um, it's really good if you got like a clear. So, hour one, you check your skin. And you're like, okay, is this as dark as I want to get? No, keep developing. And then every hour you check in. And whenever you're like, this is the color I want, you shower to stop it from developing. Pro tip. Okay, guys, more stuff. Let's say you didn't have time to shower, shave, and exfoliate, but you want to go in and spray tan. There's these things called perfecting mitts. I have the designer skin one, and basically it is a mitt, and it gently exfoliates you. I call it a shower in a bag, but it also is infused with a primer, so you knock out your primer and your before care, so you're like prepped for that. So this is the Diaz Perfecting Prep Mitt. Um, okay, let me actually go over the primers with you, okay? So, actually I did. I went over the DS primer, but I didn't go over the CT prep spray. CT prep spray is really good because it gives your skin protein and carbohydrates, which also helps with your spray tan. Um, it's also pH balancing. What I usually do is because I'm extra, I will spray this everywhere, let it sit, then put the DS primer on and then jump in the spray. So have both working for me. You obviously don't have to do that, but it's me. I'm extra. Here we are. Okay. So that's your before. Now when you get home, when you get home, you want to make sure you're taking care of it. So the most popular thing that people do is they get an extender. So I have Boost by Norvell. And... Basically, it's a tan extender. It comes out really dark. So you can see it comes out really dark. But it's really nice because it evens out and he leaves you with a really natural tan. So it has DHA in it, so it's going to help extend the life of your spray tan to be a, last a little bit longer. I would use this until maybe like your third or fourth day of the spray tan when it kind of starts to fade. Um, with this one, you want to make sure you're doing like circular motions, washing your hands, all that stuff. And I like to do right after a shower. You can also match it with a mitt. So the mitt is super important because it's going to make sure it's even and like your fingers aren't going to get all, you know, DHA or anything like that. Um, and you can also wash your mitts. So I showed you this prep mitt. This one you can't use over and over again, but this one you can, and you can just put in your washer and then you're good to use it. Another good thing about the mitt is it can be used like from any angle. So like you can go like this way, this way, any way, you know what I mean? Um, and you're not like using your fingers, so it's gonna be really even. So I like to match my boost with my mitt when I put it on. And like I said, I don't do that till about day two or day two, three, four, when it really starts to fade. And then it's gonna develop like a spray tan. So you wanna make sure you're not getting it wet or anything like that for that four to six hour range till it fully develops. Another thing that I love, 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 is this Effect. I don't know where the lid is, I use it a lot. Um, so Effect is like a spray tan in a bottle basically. And you might be like, Allie, I can't spray tan myself. Well, viewer, you can. It's super easy. Just shake it up and you just hold it and you literally just go like this. And it's a fine mist. So you're not going to get dramatic color. So if you overspray like one side of your face, you're not going to like, your face isn't going to look terrible. Um, I like to say that three is the magic number with this. So if you just spray it once, like I said, it's a really light mist. So you're not going to get too dramatic of color. I'm comfortable with three, so I spray it on everywhere, let it sit and dry. Spray it on again, let it sit dry, and do it one more time, and I feel like that's the perfect color for me. Um, obviously, if you want it to be a little lighter, don't spray it that much. If you want to be darker, spray it more. Um, primarily, I only use this on my face and chest. You can use it anywhere, but my spray tans fade the quickest on my face and chest, so that's why I really like this one. Um, and the extender is also a good option. The reason I kind of go towards this more is because it's kind of easier to spray than to go through the motions of putting it on. But that's a user preference. 
Okay guys, one more plug for spray tans. If you, how do I say this? I, there's a thing called a double dip. So a double dip is when you go in the bed first and then you go in the spray, so it's like the best of both worlds. So I'm gonna highly recommend this DS Double Dip, um, DS Double Dip Intensifier. So it's going to, you know, it's gonna balance your pH as well. It has that coffee and caffeine scene, cough, it has the coffee and caffeine in it, so it's gonna tone tighten your skin. But this also has tyrosine in it. So the way I describe tyrosine to people is that your melanocytes that create your melanin need superfood is what I say. And tyrosine is one of those superfoods, so you're giving your skin the like food it needs to create melanin, and then afterwards you're gonna go do a spray tan so you get super dark. A lot of times people pair these together, so use this in the bed and use this in the spray. I do that all the time. Um, I know that was a lot in like 10 minutes, but it is free spray week, and if you're watching when this isn't free spray week, I love spray tans. I could talk about spray tans for so long. Um, like I said, I use them, I do it probably about once a week, and I have a light clear with hydration on right now. So, obviously I'm wearing makeup, you can see my highlight, but I feel like the color is super natural, I love it. I'm an avid user of spray products, so I hope this helped. I'm gonna link all of the products that I talked about in the description, because um, I think it's super important that everyone like is super educated, because a lot of people make the mistake when they go in, they don't maybe do their prep care right, but the biggest mistake that I see is people don't get a primer, and so then they come back maybe like the next day or later that night, and they're just so unsatisfied with how their color developed, because they didn't use the primer. So I just tell people to knock it out the first time, get your perfect spray. Um, one last tip, one pro tip, um, your hands. You wanna put barrier cream on your hands, or if you're like me, I don't use barrier cream. Um, what I do is an hour after I spray tan, I just wash my hands with soap, and I've never had a problem with my hands. Um, but some people really like barrier cream, I don't, but it's just a personal preference. So I hope this was very informative. Um, I could talk about tanning forever. So I'm excited. This is how you get your perfect spray tan. Um, happy Monday. Um, I will see you guys on Thursday for another video. And yeah, get your tan on. All right, see you guys. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments, by the way. I read them. So if you have questions about spray tanning, I'll be happy to answer them. So. Alright, bye guys.